Upon opening EasyTeach Next Generation, we can access our five most recent documents through the Recent Documents tab. Accessing a pre-made activity on math, which shape am I, we can grab easily our pen annotating tools, where we have a selection of pens, highlighters, and an eraser, and we can quickly annotate on our screen. Just as easily, we can select the eraser and erase what we've just drawn. Selecting a selection of pre-made shapes, the user can quickly drag out and form the shape they wish to form when exploring shapes in a math lesson. Selecting our select tool, we can then go back to the shape and accessing the accelerator menu, we can rotate our shape, change the color of our shape, expand it bigger or smaller with just one simple click. Using the shape recognition tool, we can drag out and create that perfect shape every time. Drawing a perfect triangle, it will snap into place. Going back to our already made shapes, we can then select another shape, a square. Easily from the um, user-friendly user interface, we can select a different color and drag that out to the screen as well. Editing is very easy within Easy Teach Next Generation. We can simply select our select tool, click on each single item or a group of items to edit all together as we're doing now. And we can simply increase or decrease the opacity, transparency level of our shapes, of their color, and hide them in the background. Going to the E menu, we can quickly move on to an English lesson. It allows us to save, we can decide to save or not, and then we can move into our descriptive writing activity where we can go to storyboard mode and view all the pages in our file, quickly selecting one to jump to, page two. From this page we have a passage where we can easily make this interactive with our set of text tools. Going into the advanced text tool window, we can select our close tool and easily make a close comprehension activity by simply clicking on the words I want to delete from the passage one at a time and they will collect into our word wallet. When we open the word wallet those words are already in the wallet. We can drag it to the screen and randomize those words, mix them up as many times as we wish. We even have the option to add our own words. Then the students can simply drag the words back into the passage where they belong adding the more descriptive words in this example. To make our lessons a little more engaging, we can also go to our multimedia bank where we have great searchability. We can search by topic as well as keyword with all different types of multimedia, audio, illustrations, interactives, photos, and videos. I have several options to choose from. By dragging out the image to my screen, I can then easily resize it and make it exactly how I want to fit my